Hey, good morning. It's on you. Oh. So I need to find here. Um, and here's Maisie. She's looking looking quite appealing there. Quite nice for a drawing the way that she's um, sitting. But today I'm still gonna. <coughs> Whoa, it's a stair gate. I'm still gonna just work with the cyclamen. I started. My plan was to um, to draw this. But started drawing with a pencil and you could hardly see it so I went upstairs and got my box of pens and I'm just using a black pen I've got all of those but I'm just using a, a black pen to draw with because I like the kind of dainty shape of the flowers and how they're spilling over and this um, and I want to clearly to clearly let it be seen in the video okay I was just saying there that um, some fine day I'll uh, I'll come to the videos with them, um, you know, a little bit more manicured <laughs> with my, uh, something other than a dressing gun on. But for now, it's a good way to start the day for me anyway. I haven't done a video for a few days, you know. And, um, yeah, I guess I miss it a wee bit. Mm. Sometimes I wonder whether um, things that I do are, um, you know, to divert away from stuff really that uh, needs attention. But this is something that doesn't take me that long and so, and it's a diversion that's welcome, I reckon, if it is a diversion. I could also say that it's just one of these habitual kind of routines that it, that's, that's, been, that's been good to develop for me, so. I would rather keep it going than not, even if um, it feels as though other stuff is being slightly put on hold. I'm talking about um, really the Facebook sale that I had last week there, you know, I just need to process payments and send the addresses to Jim to be able to post the pictures to everyone. And I want them to have them for Christmas, like. Oh, for goodness sake, you can't see a thing there, can you? I'll just put the camera close to the drawing this time, I think. There you are. That's a bit better. Yeah, and I'll check in now and then to be sure that you're seeing the full thing. Okay. Of course, there'll be a bit of foreshortening. Oh, so that... That one actually needs to be closer to this petal, or this petal needs to be maybe a bit bigger. Because this one is just about here. I love the way that they kind of sail separate from the separate from the stem. Like the stem is actually needing to be here. those things done today. I've got some um, commissions as well that I'm going to do. 
I'm not driving to school today, so I can get on with that. <coughs> I think the stems are a little bit longer than I've got them here, but well, I'm probably going to be okay. Maybe it's just that the reading is shorter because I haven't got the leaves done here yet. Maybe not properly, but just finding my way into my way of looking. Properly felt a little bit oppressive there. <laughs> so this um, Sidcomen has been in the studio for quite a few weeks now. It's been really quite cold out there, but it seems to be several, you know, it seems to quite enjoy the cold. Well, at least it's indoors, so it didn't have frost on it. <coughs> Let me put that down a wee bit now. So that's that one spilling over the front there. And then this is the flower again. That's almost as far over as the one that is oh, the one up there, but not quite. And it sits in front of the jug, so it's maybe needing to be a little bit bigger. And then the one in front of that is bigger again. And it's it's actually more open as well. You see there. It's going lower and lower down. So there's this one. It's um, sitting in front again, and then there's lots of curly little ones here. <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous, I don't know what a video. Anyway. I think I need to place this. Maybe I can go a bit further back again now. Oh dear me. Just gonna leave it there again. Okay. Yeah, and I think I'm I'm gonna do some um something different. But this is really just to keep to keep it ticking over the drawing in the morning when I don't feel like really so full of energy or so kind of um, inspired to do anything in particular then I always know that I can reach for the um, the potted plant of the cyclamen because it just um, it's always it's always interesting to me there's the handle of the jug there and then it comes up here where it meets the, the leaf that's overlapping that handle. Just looking at the shape of the space between parts as well as parts themselves here. So I've got that stem which touches that flower as well. And then from here there's the, the rest of that leaf it's behind another one. See the edge of that leaf overlapping that one, and then it comes down to meet that stem. It's bending down a bit. It's like fitting jigsaw pieces together sometimes. This thing, and it's good because you can change the shape of the pieces as you go. The flower needs to be lower down there. And there's a stem, a flower, 
And then there's another leaf right here. So Aaron just heading off to school for a few minutes. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I saw them on the worktop last night. I don't know where they are. Are they on top of the microwave, maybe? Erin, you could take the tin and just bring back what you don't eat. Got some nice um, ginger thins in the shop the other day. It's a massive tin of them. Actually, it was the tin that made me want to buy them in the first place. And then I got some um, Amoretti biscuits as well. Amoretti? You know, with the nice wrappers. I was thinking I could use them for... Um, Collage as well, maybe. And then there's the handle coming down to meet the handle of the jug, so that needs to be there. See, you, Aaron. What? I was just saying goodbye. I thought you were leaving. I think that's about it, you know. I feel like I might want to bring a little bit of colour in though. I don't know if this pen is waterproof or water resistant or what now, but I might use some um I'll just use the green maybe. So what I'm looking to make there is the green of the leaves. So Viridian Viridian mixed with um lemon yellow. And just a bit of whatever's in here and give me some kind of a shadow for the for the shadows on the leaves like here oh yeah so the ink is staying put and just put a few shadows in i don't want to color it all i don't think I was thinking I'd have maybe have a bath. I've been meaning, meaning to have a bath for a while. I've been dancing at the weekend and I feel like my body's needing a good um, soak, some salt, salt bath. So that's one of my plans as well. And uh, it's a lovely day. There's a little bit of snow on the ground. I want to take Maisie out for a walk as well. But I suppose, you know, sometimes when there's an action to be taken, I suppose the, the healthiest thing to do really is to do the, to do that, you know, if it's one of these things that's lingering. So rather than have my bath and the walk first, I think I'll maybe get a bit of closure on that uh, Facebook sale if I can and just send all the addresses over to Jim. And that's it. Oh, I'm also doing a calendar. So I've sent the images to the printer. And um, if you did want a calendar, just let me know in the comments below. And um, I think it'll probably be about twenty pounds, and it'll be pictures of my work and a quote underneath each picture for each month. I'll be putting in some kind of words of wisdom or something from people who, you know, like Gabrielle Roth was one of the ones now yesterday that. My friend reminded me of 
she um I think it I think it's she's the founder of the five rhythms movement maybe for the dancing or one of those anyway movement medicine or something like that and she spoke about um there's a, a couple of really nice quotes from her I forget what exactly they are but one of them is something about between the head and the feet of any given individual there are a billion there are a billion discoveries to be made or something like that. I can't remember. She was all about the dancing. No, so the the ink is actually bleeding a little bit there. But I'm kinda liking it. And I thought I would get um I thought I'd use some sorry, I'm trying to place things so that my hand isn't coming across the whole thing. Okay, so I thought I um I would put a touch of alizarin in for the flowers as well maybe. <coughs> there isn't really alizarin that colour. Well this this is alizarin but I, I don't think it's um really the best colour for these flowers but I don't have any other on the palette that I think would work. This is the closest I've got. So it's just to bring some bit of colour in. I have this other palette here actually, I might have something on there that would be more cyclamen like. What's this? That's just the same. Mm, that's a little bit more pinky, I think. But of course the black ink is bleeding a little bit so it's not going to be as, as beautifully bright as the petals themselves are. Okay, see you, love. Bye. Yeah, maybe put some of these down at the front as well. It's laying nice and quietly beside me here. Mm, there's a little bit of despondence rub around me today. But I suppose that's kind of natural, you know, when there's jobs to be done and it seems like it's going to be uh, only prolonged if I, if I choose to... Um, delay delay any further that sounds a bit harsh but sometimes that's the case other times you do need to just decide to take things slower and do you know self care things first there you go right now I'll put some, a touch of cerulean blue, I think, in. It's a bit of a dirty cerulean blue, but it's very really dirty, so it doesn't read as blue at all. No, I kind of wanted it to be a little bit, um, a little bit duller than the cerulean is, because it's going to read more as the colour of the steel jug. Sometimes I need to remember the. Somebody said one thing. I don't know who it was to um. To consider what a best friend would say to you, you know, and any anything that. Any time that you that um like there now you know talking about the things I've got to do and everything. And. Uh, actually, I'd say a good friend would probably say just do it. <laughs> Stop your carry on, <laughs> depending, depending on which friend I choose. <laughs> oh, 
is always choice, isn't it? <coughs> and actually really grateful for all the pictures that sold. It's fantastic. And I'm grateful for Jim and his wife Linda who make it so simple for me by doing all the postage and packaging and everything. So really it's only very small stuff I've got to do relating to that. Which is brilliant because I can get on with the job of painting and doing the stuff that I really I really love to do. Put a bit more blue on there for the bright, brighter side of the handle. There's a bit of a shadow here too. Okay. I was going to say I'm going to stop there, but no, I've just noticed that this this lovely yellowish there's a lovely brightness in the in the leaves where the light is falling on them. I just put a few little touches of that in there. And then I'll stop. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All the best. Cheers. And all the best for Maisie. Good girl, Maisie. I hope you could see her there. I can't see what's going on on the screen. All right, and here's the, the here's the cyclamen. She said, "Never make a camera woman." Eh? And that's the that's the cyclamen I was looking at there. Okay, have a lovely day. Enjoy, and see you tomorrow. Bye.